Audio of a Kanye West outburst recorded backstage at SNL was released by the New York Post's page six. The usually reserved musician was apparently <laughs> upset when he learned that a lighting designer changed the set he was going to perform on just before showtime. During his meltdown, Kanye proclaimed that he is 50% more influential than several cultural giants. Take a listen. Are they By 50%, dead or alive, by 50% for the next thousand years. Stanley Kubrick, yay. Yeah, Stanley Kubrick, yay. <laughs> the person close to West told the Post right before he was about to go on live television, they took his stage apart. Like any artist, he's a perfectionist and wanted his performance to be right. Of course he was upset. It is true, artists are passionate and they express that passion. Look at this interview with Picasso discussing some of his contemporaries. Depuis la Boca, comme ça, comme ça, jusqu'à jusqu Nice, n'est-ce pas, sur la route, comme ça. Et alors là, j'ai lu, je ne sais pas moi, parce que j'ai lu, parce que c'était très court, et ce n'était pas moi qui l'avais écrit, même. mais enfin, j'ai prononcé quelques mots qui ont eu le plus grand succès, il paraît. Je ne sais pas combien ils ont entendu, car moi, je n'ai pas l'habitude de, 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 de parler devant un micro. <laughs> See? He was just wow. keeping it real. That was in 1966. Teddy, uh, look, artists can do whatever they want, right? Isn't that the lesson of this? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think if of Kanye? If you want to get paid, you better do what they tell look, you to do. Look, he's good at getting attention for himself, right? I feel like he throws these tantrums at just the right time when he's trying to sell a new record. Well, wouldn't you if you was married to Kim? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's like, I'm trying to get out of this marriage. <laughs> oh, he I'm so crazy. Right. I'm oh, crazy. <laughs> is that what it is? That's yeah. what it is. You he's trying to get out. Of the two in that marriage, you think that yeah. she's the problem? <laughs> I, I, I don't think so. He is a handful, isn't he? Yeah, I can't wait till those kids get arrested for stealing Slim Jims and Sun Drop at the local convenience store. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think you might have done that. <laughs> I love who. But by the way, how does Kanye know that the Apostle Paul couldn't spit some mad rhymes, right? I mean, how does he really know at how, how good they were well, at, at being maybe musicians? It's interesting. Stanley Kubrick, harpsichord, all over it. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, do you think he has ever sat through a Stanley Kubrick film till the end? He, he seems like a restless guy, like he, he couldn't sit still. If he brought a mirror into the theater, maybe. Yeah. He can just stare at himself. That's right. Right. Dan, look, uh, maybe he's trying to distract the mm. world from the fact that... Uh, Kim holds her breasts up with duct tape. Did you see that <laughs> yeah, photo? I yeah, uh, I may have seen it. Yeah, uh, I may have you are like fascinated that. by this. <laughs> I want to He's been talking that. about he's, it he's all day. Out of you know, way. Like, do you, you, know hanging, do so. you not listen to me? I have told you repeatedly, and I've said on this program that you can create cleavage with some duct tape. You pull and you pull the back fat around and push it together in the <laughs> push front. Push it together, you, but she pulls them apart. That's enough? what I was saying. That's yeah. why I wanted to do that story, Joanne. Yeah. Okay. If I, can, <laughs> <laughs> Joanne, you said that the beauty queens use duct tape uh, yes, at the pageants. Yes, it's for when you're wearing something that's a deep V and you're not wearing a bra and it's to lift the chest. Uh-huh. There you go. How about putting some of that duct tape on his mouth? Hey, oh, thank you. Hey, bring, it bring it back. There you go. Look, <laughs> that is a solution. Boom. A duct tape on Kanye. But look, uh... <laughs> Do you think he had a, one of his uh, one of his ad, close advisors the other day? Uh, he said he he can't work with Kanye anymore. He thinks he's losing his mind. He needs help. Do you think that's the case? Uh, well, I'd love to see like what the breaking point might have been because it doesn't seem like there's any change in behavior, right? Like, was it like, all right, Apostle Paul, I'm out. Like, I can't. Uh -huh. That that that's it. But I mean, we got to cut him some slack. You freaked out, I'm sure. I've heard you compare yourself to Stanley Kubrick before, walking around these halls, screaming at people. Well, I mean, <laughs> I've got to deliver every day. Right. right. Kanye, I mean, what is that? how often is he on Saturday Night So if, if this table was moved right before we went on, like what level of freak out would you be at? Uh, look, I, okay, I will, um, I will do that, but that's the way it is when you're on air. Isn't, isn't that the case, Dagan? I mean, if someone switches things up before you go on air, don't you uh, throw a tantrum every once in a while? 
no, never, because generally I don't want to be known as a <laughs> in this life. So I'm careful about how I treat other people. Well, yeah, when you're mic'd, I think you need to be a little more aware of yes. the fact that you're mic'd and people are probably recording what you're saying. But why, why are we just assuming that this is a meltdown? What if this was like a build up? Everyone has their pre-show thing that they do, and maybe his is, I'm better than everyone else. It's to give him that confidence he needs to go on the stage. And that is a good answer, What Joanne? if this is his DEF CON 5, which is peacetime? What if this is his base, and DEF CON <laughs> 1 is something altogether different we haven't seen yet? Well, it could be. He's, a very, he's obviously a very influential artist. Okay, coming up. <laughs>